Hi, everyone, and welcome to the meetup. I'm your host, Deborah Godet, here with my co-host, Ayana Tucker. Thank you for joining us today. We are so excited about today's guest. She is an actress, comedian, writer, VCU graduate, and a Newport News native. You may have seen her in movies like Lakeview Terrace, The Single Moms Club, Ted 2, or on shows like Two Broke Girls, ER, Breaking Bad, and Tyler Perry's For Better or Worse. Let's welcome the very talented Miss Coco Brown. Hey, yeah. how are you? We are well. I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are excited to have you here. Oh, thanks so, for having me. <laughs> Um, you are such an inspiration to our community, and we wanted to pick your brain, as they say. Okay. I was, wondering, <laughs> I was wondering, what are some of your most challenging obstacles on the way to success, and how did you overcome them? Um, one was convincing my family that they didn't waste uh, a college degree on me, <laughs> but I chose to go into show business. Um, you know, and, you know, luckily, like I said, I, I, I got a degree and then literally like a year after graduating from VCU, I started dabbling in stand up comedy. And when I realized it was a passion, it was something that I, I'm, hey, I'm pretty good at this, you know, and uh, I could do this, maybe uh, convincing my family that, you know, I was going in this whole different direction. Uh, initially, my mother was like, are you insane? But now you know, so supportive and, um, you know, is, is, you know, respects that I've put in the work and I've worked hard to get where I am and, you know, what I've accomplished. And um, I've done it with integrity and character, you know, and, and kept my respect in the process. Um, you know, and, you know, honestly, it's just that I, you know, came up in the business where there were levels. There were things that you had to achieve to be passed on to the next level. Uh, things are a little different now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to really do levels anymore. You just got to get a million followers on social media. But when I came up in the game, there were levels. There were, you know, you had to graduate. Um, and it just taught me um, that, you know, I, I put in that work and no one could ever take that from me. And I took each moment for what it was and appreciated it and embraced it. And then when I went to the next one, it was great. And there's still so many levels I haven't accomplished yet that I'm looking forward to. Uh, but you know, that was one of the challenges. And then, you know, of course, being a woman in the business, um, you know, uh, and being a black woman in the business, child, let me tell you, uh, whereas they'll let 20 others in at a time, they tend to only let maybe two or three of us in at a time. <laughs> so it's almost like waiting your turn or waiting for someone to do something silly and get, you know, out the business or whatever. But, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> honestly, I just... Um, you know, have, have have just said, you're not going to change me. You're not going to make me do anything crazy or that's going to embarrass my family or, you know, leak a tape. <laughs> I'm not going to do any of that. So, you know, I tell people all the time, I'm very happy being famous enough. I can still go to the grocery store. I can still come home to my hometown and go to Walmart and not have to worry about having goo gobs of security. So, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm famous enough. So I like exactly where I am. You know, I like so, that. Famous yeah. enough. <laughs> I'm famous enough. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your inspiration. Okay. Our next question is, where do you see yourself in the next five years? And what new achievements are you looking forward to? In five years? Wow. Uh, it'd be nice to be married. Uh, <laughs> that's totally personal. Um, no, but... Uh, I hope in five years um, I've accomplished more. You know, I still say that I haven't gotten that one role that I was able to completely put my mind, body, and soul into. You know, um, I've I've scaled the surface on a lot of roles, but you know, I'm talking about that role that just takes you there that people are talking about from years to for years to come, and you know, of course, that role that takes you to the next level. You know, that, you know, uh, people are like, OK, she's not playing. Um, I think being on 911 has done a lot of that. You know, it started with American Crime Story when people realized that Coco Brown is more than just being funny. Coco Brown can actually act. You know, she's just not somebody up there making you laugh. You know, people are seeing me play serious, uh, you know, serious roles. 
Um, you know, but funny will always be my, my, my backbone, my foundation, you know, I, I love, I'm, I'm actually scheduled to go to LA next week to shoot Never Have I Ever, which is a Netflix show that I've been on now. This is our second season and I play Principal Grubbs. Now she's supposed to be serious, but she gonna crack you up because I'm not your typical principal. <laughs> but um, it's wild that uh, hopefully in five years, you know, it'll be a lot more roles under my belt, roles that I can say, yeah, I came outside my box, my comfort zone. Um, I also hope to be directing more. And um, hopefully, you know, in five years, I'll have my own show or, or film that I've written out there, you know, because I, I tend to do a lot of that writing and developing stuff, hoping to get it, you know, you know, produced. Um, but yeah, I, I would hope in five years that I'm still as, as at peace with where I am, just as I am right now. Time has flown by. Once again, we would like to thank today's guest, Coco Brown. Again, we're your hosts, Ayana Tucker and Deborah Godet. See you all next time on the Meetup. Bye. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Thank y'all so much. I love it. <laughs>